You know, one of the more uncommon rifles in North American hunting fields is the double barrel. Whether a stacked over under or a side by side, you just rarely see those. Yet it's a strong, reliable, proven action used around the world. Why not here? Let's dig deeper into the side by side double rifle, see what makes it tick, and see if you might just be interested in getting one for yourself. Traditionally, double rifles have been expensive and rather ornate with fancy walnut stocks, elaborate scroll engraving, and etched game seams. Well, this Sabati Big 5 EDL Classic Safari Rifle is no exception, except for its price. While many doubles start at $17,000 for an unadorned base model, this box lock double with decorative side plates sells for a manufacturer's suggested retail price of just $7,819. Double rifles evolved from huge double barrel shotguns in the late 19th century to provide a quick insurance shot when hunting dangerous game. If the first shot didn't anchor the beast, the second was supposed to. Of course, you still had to put the bullet in the right spot. In addition to the fastest follow-up shot in the business, side-by-side -side doubles provide another level of insurance, redundancy. Because this Sabati has two barrels and two independent mechanical firing mechanisms, you're effectively carrying two rifles in one. If one side fails to fire for any reason, like you forgot to load it, while well, the other remains fully functional. Because this double simply hinges open to load, it can accommodate extremely long cartridges like the 470 Nitro Express, which is nearly four inches long. Ejecting empties is dead simple. Just break the action open and the selective auto ejectors kick out any fired cases. The unfired rounds stay in their chambers. Because there is no bolt behind the breech of this Sabati, overall length is just 41 inches and that's with 24 inch barrels. The rifle is short and quick to maneuver in brush and that's another reason doubles are popular for hunting dangerous game in thick cover. The rifle weighs 10 pounds, 11 ounces. Now that weight helps tame the 60 foot-pounds of free recoil energy that those 500 grain bullets kick up. While I certainly knew I wasn't touching off a 243 here, the recoil really wasn't as bad as I expected. Sabati's hammer-forged chrome molybdenum steel barrels are mated to a massive lump of steel called a monoblock from which hang these dual locking lugs. These thick lugs rotate around the action bar's hinge pin and then down into deep recesses within the equally massive lower action bar. Two internal locking bars activated by the top tang lever slide forward to lock into the notches in the lugs. This thick action bar, the monoblock, and the lugs control torque. Those enormous bullets plow into the rifling and twist that barrel violently as they're engraved. The first trigger broke at six and three quarter pounds, the second at seven. Not out of line for a hard kicking big board double. The big five classic safari doesn't have articulated triggers or interceptor sears to prevent accidental doubling. Two features found on much more expensive doubles. We had no doubling incidents while test firing about 40 rounds. I suspect the heavy trigger pulls contributed to that. Sabati guarantees that these rifles regulated at 50 yards, will shoot the traditional three inch minute of grapefruit accuracy that's expected of big bore double rifles. By golly, that was his best group. He's only about an inch, inch and an eighth apart. I don't know if you can see those two holes right there. But that is a good group of the double rifle, and that's what you're looking for. A well-regulated rifle, both barrels shooting within two or three inches of the same point of aim. Another feature is its takedown. If you need to travel, you take off that fore end, you pop off the barrel, and look at that compact little package you've got for traveling. The Big Five Safari Classic features a solid raised quarter rib with standing rear sight and two flip up blades for longer ranges. The front sight is a rugged front post on a blade ramp. Now I would order the standing blade with a shallower V notch so as not to obscure too much of the target. Engraved cross hatching on the fully manual tang safety makes it easy to grip and push off even with sweaty hands. The stock grain on the end of the pistol grip is protected by an attractive steel skeleton frame. A one inch red rubber decelerator recoil pad has more flex than the hard rubber found on most big bore doubles. 
22 line per inch hand checkering on the beaver tail forearm and the pistol grip is fairly sharp with crisp clean borders and no overruns that I could see. The oil finished walnut shines with a deep satin luster. In addition to the 470 Nitro Express that we tested, Sabati's Big 5 EDL Classic Safari Rifles are chambered for the 500 Nitro Express, 416 Rigby, 450 Nitro Express, 450-400 Nitro Express, and the 375 H&H. A dangerous game big bore cartridge is probably more wallop than needed for most North American game. But whether you want to stalk big bears, moose, or just feral hogs, a Sabati can help you do it in impressive style. <laughs>